Hey guys, so I primed my face, well my eyes, with a concealer and powder this time since we're doing a smoky eye. The Laura Mercier Powder Translucent and the Cover FX Concealer. And I did my eyebrows with the Dip Brow. Um, not the Dip Brow, the Benefits Brow. And number five, and we're going to be using Black Track, which is a max eyeliner, which is really creamy and smooth as our black base. Um, because it's really creamy and it's actually really easy to blend unlike some eyeliners and this brush is at an angle so it makes it kind of easy to apply it to your eyelids And I just take my finger and blend it out. Like this eyeliner is super, super easy to blend. It's really easy to blend. Okay, I'm taking this Makeup Forever, this reddish color, reddish brownish color. And this is gonna be an out transition color and I'm using a Sigma Fluffy brush. I don't know the number, but it's the E40 to kind of blend that out a little bit. And then I'm gonna take some Noor by Anastasia, which is a really good black matte eyeshadow. And I'm going to set that eyeliner as well as darken our smoky eye with that eyeshadow. And I'm using a crown concealer brush, but it applies the eyeshadow and it picks up a nice amount of products. So I wanna apply that right to our lids on top of our black track. This should keep our liner in place and also darken our smoky eye. And I'm taking my Sigma Stay 40 Fluffy Blend Brush and I just want to blend it out. Um, this makeup has like a lot of blending because it's black eyeshadows and I'm just going to continue to blend that out. I also dipped my brush back into the red, reddish brick color from Makeup Forever and blended it between the crease and the lid to help for easy blending. And to also give it that nice reddish ombre. Kind of a sunset. And now I'm taking a Mally Beauty brush and I'm blending it some more. And then I'm going to use some eyeshadow. And I'm just going in and I'm going to blend and blend. This one is really fluffy but it's super, super soft. And then I'm going to take some more shadow because we lost it. Take some more Anastasia's Noir eyeshadow and we're going to apply that right to the lid. And blend. And I want to take some Max Smolder eyeliner. Um, this is the black alcohol. Um, this is really good for smoky eyes or anything that you want to smudge out because it is meant to smudge and then it will set. This is really, really good. And I also take some apply it to my upper lash line to miss just in case if I've missed any eyeshadow right there, which is kind of hard to get at times. And this also is going my waterline and lower lash line. Sorry guys, I'm halfway in the camera, but I just know I'm trying to get that eyeliner. My setup is terrible. <laughs> this is going to be the base of my foundation today, the Melanie Mills um, in Deep Gold. And I'm going to be color directly around my mouth with Max, um, I forgot. It's the Max Prep and Prime um, highlighter stick, but it's in peach, I believe, and it's just the, the orange color. Now I went back in just to blend. I think if I can need to like a little bit more blending. 
And then I'm going to take this Mariah Carey eyeshadow from the MAC collection. I'm use it as a brow bone and highlight. It's really pretty in gold, so it's really good for a brown skin as a brow, as a brow highlight. And now I'm taking the Minimal Nails in Deep Gold and we're going to be applying that to our face. Um, I'm not going to apply a highlighter so I decided to apply um, the Minimal Nails. Um, what is it? It's like a skin bronzer. You can put it on your legs or your face. And I decided to apply it all over my face and I've been doing this so I really like it. It gives your face like a really nice glow, especially when you like really see it in person. And then we'll be applying the Max Studio Fix for it and NC50 all over my face. I love these two combinations. And now I'm applying my favorite concealer, the Cheat Face Concealer. This is my favorite concealer. It's called Born This Way, and I believe I got the darkest shade. I'm in the color dark, and this concealer is amazing. It's like kind of matte, but it's not drying, if that makes any sense. And it covers really good. I'm taking the beauty blender and I'm just gonna blend that out and my beauty blender is damped. I was looking at my NARS Biscuit Concealer, my Cream Radiant Concealer, which is I'm like out of, but I'm like scraping it because I really want to use it for this look. And it's a matte finish, so if you have dry skin, make sure you have a good moisturizer and you spray your face afterwards because this concealer is like really dry. But I like it. You can also apply eye cream with this concealer to kind of make it more creamy and moisturizing. Oh, and I'm taking the um, Black Radiant Suede Mocha Foundation Stick, and I'm just going to, I want to protect this a contour, but add more color to my base. And I'm taking the Laura Mercier Powder, and I'm going to set each highlighted area. This is the Laura Mercier Powder in Translucent, not Invisible, Translucent.
And I'm taking Fashion Fair Powder in Sable. And I'm just going to contour a little bit very lightly with a very fluffy ankle brush in circular motions. And I'm setting my face with the Max Mineralize Skin Finish Powder in Dark Deep. I'm setting my entire face with this powder. This will also calm down my highlight as well and also set my face. And I'm taking Max Raisin. It's a matte blush by MAC and it's called Raisin. I think this looks really good like a smoky or any dark eye. And I'm going to go under my lower lash line and I'm going to take on this crown pencil brush and blend out the smolder and also take some more from the Anastasia Beverly Hills on our brush. And we're just going to blend that out and add more darkness and color to the lower lash line. And also some mascara to the lower lash line and the upper lashes. And also we're going to take the Smashbox Always Sharp Liner in Darkest Nude and we're going to line our lips. And then we're going to take Velvet Teddy by MAC. And I'm just going to put that on my lips and blend because I want like a really neutral color. When I have a smoky eye, I decide to go like nude or close to my skin tone. It's up to you if you want to do like a red or a pink. And then I'm also going to take the Velour Silk Lashes. They don't have a name on here, but they're like the wispy kinds. And I'm going to apply my lashes with my Duo Lash Glue. And spray my face with Max Fix Plus. I gotta get rid of all that powder and set my makeup as well and that is all please like comment and subscribe and thank you for clicking my video